Hello children! Today at circle time we are going to talk about hippos, hippopotamus. And they are children, very big animals, and they are the third biggest mammals of the, in the world after the elephants and um, uh, rhinos, rhinos. So these hippopotamus children, they live in Africa in savannas and forests and uh, they love being on the land but they like more staying in water in muddy water that's why their names hippo hippopotamus means river horse so children i prepared some water for them here some muddy water because they like staying in the mud look at this muddy water children so i'm going to put them here now one he goes the mummy one in the muddy water, the daddy one in the muddy water, and the baby one in the muddy water. Let them chill a little bit in the muddy water before I talk more about them. So my children, they are in the muddy water enjoying themselves, right? And now I'm going to tell, uh, tell you a couple of things about them. You know, children, uh, these um, hippos, they actually have very short legs and their body is looks like a barrel and very very big body and big big mouth look at their big mouth can you see it's huge it could eat me like this everywhere and they have very beautiful ivory teeth they are actually aggressive and scary so if you come close to them they might attack you they are not scared of anybody that's why they are so so aggressive and strong you know they look a little bit fat look at them they are look a little fat but they actually they are so fit children they can run so fast so so fast that they can run faster than mummies and daddies they might not run faster than you because you eat all your vegetables so you r run really fast but they can run very fast and you know children on their skin they have hair and they have babies so they have babies and they feed their babies with milk so here go is the daddy daddy uh, hippo and the daddy hippo called a bull the mummy hippo called a cow here and the baby hippo called the calf and you know children this is a family but they hippos when they live all together it's called a herd or a bloat or a pod there's a free name for it and then when the mommy hippo has a baby hippo they all go to the mud back together and they live happily after and the daddy hippo usually there is a uh, he is the biggest in the herd and he is he is the boss of the herd so about the hippos again children you know uh, they when they they love being on the land but they love being in the water especially muddy water as i put you here muddy water and what they do they stay in the water all day to cool down because it's so hot in savannas and they are very good at swimming so they stay in the water and they can go under the water submerged and when they do their eyes ears and nose they shut so they can stay in the water and they can stay under the water without any air for five minutes so they shut their ears and eyes like this this is the ears they shut it down and they shut the eyes and they also shut their nose it's really difficult but they can do it and they are under the water and children when the hippos are sweat because they sweat like we all sweat they sweat a red oily liquid and that red oily liquid is covering their skin and it keeps them cool and it protects them their skin so it wouldn't dry out and it protects them from the sun uh, hippos can live up to 40 years very long they so good and they are not scared as from any other animals only sometimes uh, crocodiles and spotty hyenas try to attack them and lion but they are so strong they are not scared um, what else can I say to them um, they love eating grass and they spend so much time in the water so when they finish in the water in the evening when the Sun goes down very quietly they come out of the muddy water Whoop. oh you can see come out of the muddy water and they go to eat grass they love eating grass mm, and they just mm, munch so much grass they munch they love eating grass 
and then when they fall, they go back to the water because that's where they love being most. And um, uh, when they finish their food, they go back to the water and then they stay there until the rest of the day. And they are very cute, but in, when you see them in the zoo, please don't come close to them because they, they like to be scary with their big mouths like this. And unfortunately, children, we don't have too many hippos anymore because some bad people, they like to hunt them for their ivory teeth, just like the elephants for the ivory fawn. So it's really sad. That's why we need to take big care of them. Okay, so shall I show you again one more time how they look like in the mud? They enjoy a nice muddy bath. So let's recap. So the hippos look fat, but they actually very fit and they can run so fast. They are not scared of anyone. They have big mouths, short leg and big body, barrow. Their eyes and ears and nose on top of their head. And when they go under the water, they shut all of it down and they can stay five minutes there. They eat grass and only the alligators and lions and the spotty hyenas trying to catch them. None of the animals, they are all scared of them. Um, and, and they have a red liquid, you remember? They sweat red liquid and this all covers their body. And that keeps them from the sunburn and keeps them cool. And that's it children about hippos. Let's see if next week I can prepare you another circle time, okay? Bye bye.